Welcome to Growing Your Own Food in Your Own Backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. This video is about how I save my peach tree on the brink of dying. If the beginning of COVID-19 was not enough for the month of April, on April 13th of this year, Colorado was hit with a record-breaking freeze where the temperature dropped from an average temperature of 60 degrees that month to 23 degrees on April 13th and 14th. Even the Colorado Western Slope peach orchards were hit by this devastating freeze. I thought my peach tree was dead. I was devastated because I started this peach tree from a seed. I called a couple of peach tree orchards and the Colorado State University and I was told to wait and monitor the tree to determine if all or part of the tree was dead. I also did a little test where you bend the branches back and forth to determine if they would bend or snap. Unfortunately, half of the peach tree, the branches were snapping. However, on June 30th, I was happy to see half my tree did make a rebound. With careful pruning and allowing a sucker to grow, my tree seems to be recovering wonderfully. Tree suckers were emerging at the base of the peach tree, and I decided to keep this tree sucker and allow it to grow along the side of the part of the tree that died back. As you can see, I am removing the branches off this tree sucker so it can grow up like a tree trunk right next to the tree. As I continue monitoring this tree, you can see that this half of the tree died. So I'm gonna go ahead and move, remove this branch here. This branch right here is dead, which is this part of the tree. I allow this sucker to grow. So look at the sucker right now. Look at it. Look at that sucker, see? So now it's going to become a separate tree right up against this existing tree. Now there were other suckers on this side of the tree that I just decided to keep cutting it back so it could put all this energy in this sucker, which is going to grow along the side of the existing tree and become a tree. I also discovered as I was monitoring the tree to determine what tree was still alive, is I noticed that I've got a branch coming out right back here. So you can see this branch coming out here. So that lets me know that this base is still alive. You can see I've got a branch coming out here and I got a branch coming out here. So this side of the tree right here is alive. So I got a branch here I have a branch here and I have a branch here. This part right here died and this sucker that now is turning into a tree is going to replace this part of the tree. So I just wanted to let you know that I was happy to hear that if I monitor the tree to try to determine what part of the tree is still alive or dead and therefore I was able to salvage it. So Look at this, look at that. That's the sucker right here. And that's gonna replace this part of the tree that's dead. So let me go ahead and start removing some of the dead limbs. So I'm gonna go get my equipment. All right, 
Now we have this dead branch removed. Now we're going to remove this branch right here. And we're going to make sure that that's when we cut it is flushed with this trunk. As you can see, I removed the dead branches. All the dead branches has been removed. And this half of the tree is what died. And next year, depending on how strong this sucker becomes a tree and how much other branches that's coming from this part of the tree right here, then I would go ahead and remove this here. And so therefore I'll have this half of the tree that's live and doing well. And this sucker now will replace this right here. So I just wanted to share with you on how I salvage my peach tree. Keep in mind this peach tree started from seed, so this tree is not grafted. It's this, this, this is the parent tree, and therefore this sucker is gonna be just like this tree here. So I'm happy that I was able to salvage this tree. I'm excited about how this tree is rebounding. Over time, I'm noticing that I got new branches coming up. Hopefully next year, I'll have peaches. Wanted to share my, um, how my tree is recovering. And if you've had issues with your peach tree or you live in Colorado and you suffered that late frost kill on our peach trees or you were able to help your tree rebound, share your comments and let me know. And thank you for watching.